Derby dominate the head-to-head -head between themselves and Lincoln with 22 wins to Lincoln's five. One of those victories was here at Pride Park in the EFL Trophy back in August. But Lincoln did take four points off the Rams last season, including a deserved point here at Pride Park Stadium. Cash in. For Scythe. Stabbed forward, will drop for Barkhazen. He's behind the defence, chance! It was Bird who was denied. That's a brilliant save from Jensen. Everyone expected that to hit the back of the net. It's the first time we've gone from one side to another, been patient with the ball. A little bit lucky there. Barkhazen has a touch, picks out Bird, and what a save that is, just a reaction from Jensen with his right hand, gets a palm on it. Ashen, that's a brave challenge, and he's taken a kick. Back to his feet, though. Ward, early ball. That's what James Collins has been asking for! And on the follow-up, Connor Harahan scores at Pride Park Stadium for the first time this season. He scored against Lincoln last season, and he's done it again here. What a finish from the skipper. Great work down that right-hand side from Ward. He whips another decent ball into the box. See it again here. That little bit of space ahead of him. Whips the ball, the wrong side of the defenders. Collo sticks a leg out and it bounces kindly to Harahan. There's no one else you'd want in that position with a ball falling to someone's left boot. Five minutes before the end of the first half. We haven't given given Lincoln too many opportunities. Mendes Lang putting pressure on Sorensen. Collins. Oh, it might drop for Forsyth! <laughs> who almost found the bottom corner. Right foot as well from Fozzie. Great little play. It's a little bit fortunate, I think, that one of the balls is just not in reach. I think it's this one here. Mendes Lang decides to leave it. As soon as Fozzie steps onto it, he's just trying to find that far post, curl it in with his right foot. Rahan. Thoros. Lincoln with bodies in the box. Rahan. Clever bit of play, this. Oh, and there's a decision for the referee to make here. It's a penalty. It looked to be a penalty as soon as Joe Ward went to ground. And for the second game in a row, Joe Ward has conceded a penalty. Well, there's too much space down that left-hand side, and as soon as you go to ground, I think he's looking for it, but I don't think it matters. You give the referee a big call, and he takes his time. I thought for a second he hadn't given it. He took his time, he thought about it, and then points to the spot. Danny Mandrew to take it. Derby fans doing their best behind the goal to distract. Miles Smith was beaten on Saturday, deep into added time. He's beaten tonight as well, sent the wrong way. And Lincoln, out of nothing really, back on level terms, it's 1-1. One -one. Well, it's poor game management right at the end, right at the death of the first half. Keep your shape, don't let gaps open up. They've not really had a sniff, Lincoln. And then the first time in this half, you do open up and you go to ground, you give away a silly penalty. Wildsmith guessed the wrong way. It's a decent penalty for Mandrew. Into the bottom corner, side foot, bit of pace. Jack Burrows. Clipped away by Bird. Settled down by Mandrew. Lincoln have started the second half well as they did the first Burrows back to Mandreu played in nicely for Hamilton really important block by Aaron Cashin that's a really accomplished bit of defending and the job isn't done yet for Derby in it goes again Sorensen's at the back post I'm sure if Forsyth was aware of him or not but Derby survive thanks to Aaron Cashin what a wonderful wonderful block Brilliant from the centre half, but it was well worked from Lincoln. We never got within half a yard of them. 
And as Hamilton got through, he needed to take it early because you knew that at that point, Henry Cashew would have the pace. Curtis Nelson's going to deliver this into the Lincoln penalty area. Got a big one on him, Curtis Nelson. Headed on. Harahan edge of the area, sends it back toward the danger zone. Here's Mendes Lang. So many bodies in the penalty area. Derby forced the corner and they're building a bit of pressure. Yeah, it's slow and steady, but the pressure's coming. Still not had a decent shot at goal, but we're in dangerous areas. Corner's been taken quickly. Mendes Lang shows it in. And it drops in. And it is Kane Wilson claiming his first Derby County goal. He gets it in front of the south stand and he gets Derby back in front. Well, you just mentioned the pressure's been building. We hadn't had a decent shot at goal and our first one of this second half leads to a goal. Great work from Mendes Lang who takes the short corner, cuts inside the pitch and then uses the outside of his right boot to curl it away. Nice and switched on. Lincoln won. What a ball that is into the danger area. And a little flick over the top of the goalkeeper from Wilson. The defender on the light can't keep it out the back of the net. Lovely ball from Mendes Lang. Really clever flick. And it's a goal that we needed. Drops for Vale. Keeps it moving, but it's only going to find James Collins. Maybe Derby can break with Sibley. Nathaniel Mendes Lang's making the run. Sibley finds him. Mendes Lang forced a little wide. Good chance this. Saved by the keeper. Sibley following up. Couldn't keep it on target. It's a really good save from Jensen. It was well worked. Sibs does brilliant just to drive forward and wait for the right pass for Mendes Lang, who ran in beyond. The weight of the pass was perfect. It was into Mendes Lang. His stride, here it is again, there's the pass. One touch, gets away from the defender. I can see what he's trying to do, just lift it over the goalkeeper. Jensen goes down, it comes off his right shoulder. Wilson, it's away from Ruffin, he's in the area. Our hand edge of the box, trying to keep Lincoln pinned in, but they've managed to break on that far side. Adelakam leading the charge. Trying to wait for help. Poor ball. Intercepted by Cashin. Maybe Derby can break. Mendes Lang gives it to Wilson. Just beaten Ruffin once. Now spins away from Erahan. And he's found Collins. There's no flag. Chance taken by James Collins. Derby have that precious two goal lead. What an impact Kane Wilson's had since coming on at half time. It's 3-1 Derby. Well, that's for a third, and I've got it from James Collins. It was well worked down the right-hand side. He times his run perfectly, and he, as he gets into that 1v1, Parkhazen makes a brilliant run towards the far post. I thought Collar would spot him. All he spotted was that far corner. Wilson turns well, lovely weighted pass, decent run. His head's up, but it's only looking for one thing, and that's the back of the net. Great ball from Wilson, wonderful run from Collins and the composure and the quality to hit it hard and low. It's been bright in the second half, Wilson. Said it might be his kind of game where his trickery, his ability to run past players and create something might make a difference, it certainly has. Derby County will go into Christmas on a victory. It's six wins out of seven in the league for the Rams, who climbed to third in the table ahead of this weekend's games.